everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and happy new year. We're in 2022 and I thought I would just do like a little video to start this year off with because recently I got this comment from Tori Toons asking if I could do like a CZ haul for Adriana who is my most well-known CZ model. This is her right here and I know so many of you guys have downloaded her and I do get a lot of questions all the time about the custom content that she has. Mainly like which skins does she have on and what other skin details, which eyebrows, stuff like that. So I do want you guys to be able to download her and have her look like she does in my game. So today I'm actually going to be linking everything down below that she has on. I'm not really going to link her outfits or anything because they change all the time as she is a model. She's supposed to model all different outfits and styles, but I will link you guys all of the skin details and the lashes, eyes, and etc. I even found a link for one of her skins that has since then been deleted and I looked everywhere and I found it so I'm really really happy. We're also gonna do Penny as well because she's my second favorite CZ model at the moment and I just uploaded her to the gallery so I will also show you everything that she has on in skin details and makeup and then hopefully you guys can download these sims and play with them in your game. So obviously these sims are new and neither is this custom content, but since this is one of my most requested videos, and this is something I get comments about almost every single day, I thought I would just make a little video to show everything to you guys. So anyways, if you want to download Adriana or Penny, you're gonna have to go on the gallery and you can look for my username, which is right up here. It's Eliandra YT, which obviously stands for YouTube. Then to be able to see my Sims, you're gonna have to take this one, include custom content, because obviously they wear custom content. And if you want to, you can sort it by household. So you only see the Sims that I've uploaded to the gallery and here we have Adriana, my CC model. And then just now I uploaded Penny as well. So let's also put her in here. Here we go. This is how she looks like straight from the gallery. She didn't have a last name. So I looked through a million last names and I wanted it to start with a P. So I went with Palmer, which I think is a really common name, but Penny Palmer just sounded super cute. So we're gonna go through the ZZ both of them have on. Adriana doesn't have any likes because they weren't a thing when I put her on the gallery, but this is what she looks like. Obviously, feel free to change her up. And originally her hair color was ginger. She had, I think this hair color, but I really like her as a blonde as well. But honestly, she suits every hair color and every hair. But yeah, let's get started. So first of all, her skin tone is just like a basic one. If you download her from the gallery after you've downloaded all of this custom content, it will already all be on her and she should look just like she does now. You don't have to put anything on her manually, but if you already have downloaded her before and now you're downloading the CC, you will have to go through and put everything on her to get her to look like this. So whatever you think is easier, but yeah, her skin tone is just a regular EA1. She should have it when you download her. And then moving on to skin details, she has this skin, which is very, very old. I haven't used this in so long. The original link that I had for this didn't work, but I found it, oh my gosh. So I found a CC folder with retired CC from this creator. And this one is called Love Fool Skin Blend Overlay. I don't know why it says two in the file name. I tried downloading it and it is the exact same one that I have, at least as far as I can tell. But this is what really makes her look like different from other Sims because without it, I don't know, she just, she doesn't look the same. It really smooths out her skin and it gives these little tiny moles everywhere all over her body as well as you can see. So it is a really, really cool skin. I don't know why I stopped using it. It also has like a male version in here. Oh, and there is a version without the moles if you wanna do that, but I really like texture when it comes to skin in The Sims. 
So I love using moles and freckles and stuff like that. So I'm even using pores on her, which I'll show you in a second. So this is the first skin, the Love Fool skin, but I'm also using another skin that I layer it with, and that one is called the Ooh Smooth version two skin. This is like my go-to skin from like five years ago. I still use it and I love that it layers with other skins. If you take this off, the skin is a lot more intense. So I do really like to have both of them. Then moving on, she's also wearing face light and pores. This is what she looks like without them. It's not a huge difference, but it does add like a little bit of texture as you can see to her skin that I just said that I liked. So it adds like the pores and a little bit of highlight. You have to download this from a big folder. So I put the file name in the description box as well. So you can download the right thing. Then she's also wearing my favorite highlighter. So this is what she looks like without it. It also adds like a little bit of blush on the nose as well. I love it. It has like three different versions. This one is like the darkest one. I don't know how to explain it, but I love it. I use it on every single sim. I think there's two highlighters in the link where you download this from. So this one is called the Little Cakes Highlighter. Okay, then she also has a nose mask on. I kind of love nose masks because they really let you change up your Sims noses. Even if you use the same skin overlay every single time, this way you can really change up how their noses look. So this is her without it and this is her with it. Not a huge change, I just really like this one. So I have the last one selected. This one's called Biscuit. And I think the original creator is like Myobi. You can see it here as well. So there you go. That is everything that she has on in the skin details category. If you've got all that, you should have her looking a lot like herself already. I'm also going to link her eyebrows. These are from The Sims Resource. They're by Mercy and this is what they look like. They're kind of alpha, but I still like using them with Max's match custom content. So love those. Then her lashes. So she's actually wearing Dream Girl lashes that I've had for a while in this like fifth swatch over here. They're really, really big. I love these lashes. There's a lot of different versions. They don't work with every single eye shape, but they really work with Adriana. And I just, I love how big they are. They're kind of intense but I like that about them. And then moving on to makeup. If you want to use the same makeup as me for my ZZ models, I don't often use eyeshadow or eyeliner. I just use a blush. So for her, I have her in this Lillian blush and then I have this <laughs> swatch over here if you want the same one. And then for her lips, she is using these neutral lips. Like honestly, they're really subtle. They don't do much. They're supposed to look like your natural lips. I have this fourth swatch on her. I really like the color of it. I feel like it matches the blush and her skin tone really, really well. Oh, and apparently I skipped on the eyes. So I do have her contacts linked as well. These are the Whisper Eyes by Dangerously Free Jellyfish. I feel like Penny has the exact same eyes in the exact same color. I'm not sure, but they're really similar. I love brown eyes, but I do change my CC models eye colors quite often for lookbooks or whatever I'm doing. If I feel like another color goes better with the aesthetic that I'm going for, I don't mind changing their contacts. But yeah, she has this really stunning brown eye color naturally. And yeah, I'm not using any default skins or eyes or anything like that for her. I don't have anything default, everything you have to put on yourself. Even the eyes are from the makeup, the face paint category. So maybe you can download them as defaults, but I really like to have different options. And then if you guys want to, I will also link the top and the skirt because it is quite a cute combo. But again, she wears so many different things. She does not have like the one outfit that she is known for, but this is what she has on when you download her from the gallery. But honestly, put her in anything you want. I thought this was just a pretty cute combo. Okay, let's move on to Penny, my second CZ model. So this is what she looks like right when you download her from the gallery, if you have all the CZ installed in your game. And we're gonna, again, start off with skins. So she actually has a custom skin tone, which I didn't remember giving her, but obviously this is still made from one of these by, you know, just changing the tone. 
But if you download her from the gallery, she should just come with this skin tone already. And then moving on to the skin details, she's actually using this Heihu collection skin overlay. Not sure how to pronounce that, but um, it's this one. It's the fifth one. It comes with like tiny little freckles on her nose. It has a couple versions. This one has the most on it. So this is her without it. Still actually super cute. So it doesn't add that much, but it adds like a tiny bit of blush and then the freckles and just a few other details. So I love that. And then she also has the ooh smooth skin. <laughs> As you can tell, I love this skin. It's my go-to. She has a lot of the same things as Adriana, which shouldn't be surprising because they're like my favorite things. She also has the face light and pores. She has the second one from here. And from the highlighter, she also has the third one. This is what she looks like without them. So I do like adding just a little bit more detail and texture to my sims faces even though they're max as much i feel like this isn't doing too much she also has the same like nose overlay file but she has a different one so adriana had this biscuit one and she has this adele one which is by lilith this is what her nose looks like without it i do feel like there's quite a big difference with this one i really love it i think it's super cute and then she has these moles as well. As you can see, she has this one here and this one here. And then they're probably, yeah, there's a few on her body as well. But this one has so many different options as you can see. This is the one I have. I don't know how many this is, but if you wanna get the same one for her, but a lot of these are super cute. There is so many to choose from. So if you want some moles, I definitely recommend these. Then her eyebrows are my favorite eyebrows at the moment. So these are by Stretch Skeleton. They'll be linked down below. They're just really, really nice Max's Match eyebrows. I also love these thicker ones, but she has these ones that are a little bit more trimmed. They look super, super good. Then she has the same eyes as Adriana. Yep, the exact same color. I can't believe that. Apparently, it's my favorite color. Um, the lashes are different though. So she's wearing these 3D lashes from Plum Buff Juice in this version. I love these. They're super good and they also fit more eye shapes than the Dream Girl ones. And then for her makeup, again, we don't have eyeshadow or eyeliner. I feel like the big lashes really just do the job. You don't need anything else. She has this flushed blush. That's one of my favorites in this swatch. Super cute. It's a full body blush. So she's wearing a lot of clothes, but you can mainly see it here on her knees. It's also on like her elbows. I think on her stomach. I think a little bit on her hands as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's super cute. One of my absolute favorite blushes. And then she has the same lips as Adriana, just some of my absolute favorite lips if I'm going for a more natural look. Then for the hair, this is the one that I've decided to leave her in. I used this on her a couple times in a few videos and I did like a Dark Academia CC video where she was my CC model and I just loved her in this hair. I think she was wearing this top as well. And I just love that look for her. Her favorite color is actually orange, so she doesn't always wear darker colors. But again, feel free to put her in whatever you want. But this hair is the Nelly hair. It's super cute. I love it. But honestly, use whatever you want. This one comes with a headband that you can change the color of as well. So you can make some really, really cute outfits. And then I will link you guys this top, which is a bodysuit actually. And then this skirt as well, if you want this outfit. But put her in whatever. I promise you she looks great in anything. Okay, so there we go. That is all the CC for my CC models, Penny and Adriana. I hope you guys like this video. I know it was quite targeted for the people who've been asking for this, but if you want some cute sims in your game, maybe now's the time to download my CC models and play with them. If you do play with them, you can send me pictures of them over on Twitter. My Twitter username is YT. I would love to see my sims in your game. And again, my gallery username is YT as well. Just search for them and they should come up. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys have any requests for other videos for the new year, I haven't really got any plans. So if you have any, leave them in the comments down below and I'll definitely 
look through all of that and see what I can do. Thank you so much for watching this video. Again, all the CC is linked down below and make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. I'll see you guys soon for some other video. I hope you're having a great day and bye.